What's up, guys? Me and the bros are headed to Texas. What are we gonna do? We we'll eat something good. You know we gonna eat something good. They say everything's big in Texas. Well, we're about to bring the big bitches. I'll see you guys soon. Here, boy, I'll tell you what. Will you throw these away, please? Gosh dang it, Bobby. Gosh dang it. Gosh, it's the propane, propane accessories. Some people's questions like, the weight always stays, seems heavy. You know, it may feel lighter than other days, but a lot of times, like I said, when I'm around my one rep max, going for a PR. A lot of times I'm like, man, this is heavy. I, I agree with that. I, I think I think what you're trying to say is it's still heavy, but once you're used to it more, it's easier to control. Just easier to control, but I, it's still the thought process in my head is like, man, this is heavy. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm trying not to tell myself that at all. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> my alter ego say, you signed up for this. Dude. You know what I mean? Like, Shut up. So I'm just like, all right, it's go time. Hey, now, it, it's heavy. A lot of times I'm very rarely upwards towards those intensities, those, those type of weights. It's a shocker, literally. When it's sitting on my chest and I'm getting ready to press, and as I break it and it's moving, literally. The conversations that go on in my head, it's like, it's coming, it's moving, it's moving. Yeah, yeah, it's moving. Yeah. Let's go! Yes, I'm the same way. It's crazy, man. Like, I be, I be in my head like, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, I knew I had to do it. Who's the man? Who's the man? You the man. Yeah. Want to go to the mirror and start flexing? Yeah. I knew I could do it. When you hit that first PR in your meet, the energy, the adrenaline that's going through you, literally, you could, it's almost like you could literally bend the bar in half. It's pure adrenaline. It's the greatest feeling in the world. Oh, man, it's crazy. Guys, welcome back to Road to 800. We are down here at Destination Dallas, Texas. Um, let me tell you what, I'm blown away by this gym. Uh, awesome gym, a lot of equipment, solid equipment. Um, you know, they treated me like home. Uh, I'm down here, me and TD are down here with our coach, Josh Bryant. Josh Bryant's been my coach for about six years. More than a coach, more like a father figure. Definitely grateful. Um, this is the first time we actually got to get down here and get some really good content today. I'm going for 750 for a double, and TD's going for what? 710. 710, maybe a double. Um, guys, we just want to bring you the best content. Uh, we are still on the road to 800. We are five weeks out. Again, that's at Wrigley's Field, uh, August the 21st, and um, I'm feeling pretty optimistic about how the weight's going to move today and how this meet's going to go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel, guys. I appreciate the support, and get ready. There's gonna be a whole bunch of cookies clinging today. Let's go. This is definitely the strongest bench press workout in the history of powerlifting, the history of the world for that matter. Nothing's ever been close. Let's 
go. to this point always I know that if I'm in the gym with TD like I know that things are gonna shake even Josh like he'll program days around whenever I'm gonna be around TD because the chemistry is there so whether you know either one of us having an off day like we're still there to encourage each other and that's about what team is about like though we we are striving for goals and our goals in some of the same lifts are there we still support each other no matter what and you know that's something that you just can't create that. That comes with like literally spending time with each other and sharpening each other like iron sharpens iron. Therefore, if you have someone in your corner like that, you got to appreciate them, man. And you got to go above and beyond for those guys. So like, TD, how do you feel today? I know like today wasn't like, you know, when you do miss lifts at this time, like how, how, do, how are you supposed to handle that moving forward? Because a lot of people, once they miss a lift like that, they're just in, in, the, in a funk to where it just throws off the progression from, I mean, like heading into the meet, you know? So if you want to touch base on it a little bit. I think the biggest thing too, with people missing weights that they're supposed to be hitting is that they don't take it into account that it happens. There's a little, especially when you get to heavier weight, the littlest things matter. And one little thing can go wrong and you can miss that lift. It may not necessarily be a strength issue, but it could just be a mental issue and maybe didn't eat enough or things like that. So if you get frustrated, take that frustration out on your accessory work because your accessory work is just as important as your primary work because that's the fine tuning of everything. So yeah, I was frustrated with you know not being able to miss do my lift. Yeah, I missed it. I know what I did wrong. I'm gonna correct it next time. But now you know what well, we came in with the accessories and we blew it out the water. You know, and I got some extra work in, and now I just meditate on what I did positive, knowing what I did you know what I messed up on. But now I'm working on the positive and moving forward from it. You can't linger on it. You can't let it get to you. You can't let it make you make you upset. And again, like what he was saying, you got people in your corner that are like, hey, they're still in your ear, still pushing you, and we still strive for the better regardless of what happens. Absolutely. Josh Bryant here at Destination Dallas. Great workout today with TD and Julius and uh, a little out, over a month out, 800 is uh, everything is lined up to make that happen. So you look at, you know, how Julius's training is going. He did a great off season, really high volume, shorter rest breaks, really focusing on the muscle hypertrophy and bringing up Julius's work capacity. So um, if you look at Julius, he looks different than he looked before. He looks tighter. He's not getting ready for a bodybuilding show, but I, I, there's people that weigh 440 are not that lean. So a lot of what he's done now is starting to pay off. So by building that big work capacity, it's gonna allow for a good taper into the meat. It's like almost like he's got this like residual work he's built up that allows us to taper off. And the 750 for one at this point would have set Julius up for 800. If you're hitting way bigger lifts, in the gym than you are on the platform, that's not something you should be bragging about. You hear a lot of people that bragging about what they've done in the gym, and that is not a good thing. The biggest lift should take place on the platform. So we were gonna be happy with 750 or one today. He ended up hitting that for a double. We talked about it yesterday, we wanted to go for it. I thought about it, said, let's go for 750 for a double. One of the big elements of this is why is nobody bench 800 yet? I think a big element is that is people get hurt. So a lot of this is also injury prevention and everything's aligned and I think uh, he's ready to go. He's never looked this strong, hit a huge PR today. I'm excited to see it go down.